Hey everybody, it's Mr. Game Show with your play break for Friday, July 10th, 2020. Today's game, cover story. And please welcome our special guest host from the podcast Never Not Funny, it's Jimmy Pardo. Thank you so much, Chris. And hello, everybody in need. Welcome to another edition of Play Break. For those of you that don't know this about me, before I became a world famous, or more to the point, a somewhat famous comedian and podcaster, I was in the music business. I managed record stores for years. I ended up working for a record label. And now, man, I just love talking about music. So we've created a special music-themed visual game for you today. And we call it Cover Story. Now, I'm going to start by showing you a digitally altered album cover. You remember album covers? Oh, the old days, you'd get on your bicycle, right? You'd pedal up to the record store, you'd buy your album, you'd bring it home, you'd put it on, you'd lay on your bed, looking at the album cover front and back while you listen to your new favorite tunes. Now, for those of you that are too young to know what the heck I'm talking about, ask your parents, and they'll walk you through how great it used to be to buy an album. Here's the game. I'm going to show you a digitally altered album cover. What I want you to do is first name the artist. Then I'm going to quiz you on the name of the album. And don't worry, it's multiple choice, so it's easy. I don't want to hear any of you whining on Twitter about how this was a difficult game. It's not. Here it comes. All right, here's your first cover. Tell me, who is this artist? Go ahead, just yell it out. Did you say Madonna? If so, you got it right. Now, Madonna dedicated this album to her then-husband, Sean Penn. She also co-wrote every song on this chart topper from 1986. Was the album called True Blue, At Close Range, or Neck Pain? That's right, the answer is True Blue. You know, I wonder if she and Sean Penn keep in touch. You know what? It's probably not my business. Let's move on. All right, here's your next cover. Who are these colorful characters? Of course, everybody got that one. This is Kiss. Now, while primarily a hard rock band, it took a ballad off this 1976 album for the band to receive its first top 10 hit. Was the album called Destroyer, Scorched Earth, or King of the Nighttime World? If you said Destroyer, you got it right. You know, I like to imagine the band sitting around and having a meeting when they decided, hey, uh, let's, uh, let's wear makeup. Hey, I like that idea. I'm going to be a spaceman. I'm going to be a demon. I'm going to put a star in my eye like a big star. And then Peter Chris, the drummer, says, I'm going to be a kitty cat. One has to assume the other guys just rolled their eyes and said, all right, sounds good, Peter. Here's your next one. Look at this cover and tell me what band it belongs to. If you said Van Halen, you're right. Now, over 10 million people jumped to buy this album by the classic rock band in 1984. But what was the album called? Was it I'll Wait, Two Packs a Day, or 1984? Well, the album that featured this cute kid on the cover was in fact 1984. Fun fact, that cute kid grew up to be award-winning actor Matt Damon. Pardon me? I've just been told that is not a true statement. All right, here is your next album cover. Can you name the band that had this Art Deco cover with artwork by Patrick Nagel? That's right, it's Duran Duran, or as they say across the pond, Duran Duran. Released in 1982, this new wave album peaked at number two, but what was it called? Was it Rio, Art Gallery, or Hungry Like the Wolf? Now, if you notice, those three blocks across the top, they had the letters R-I-O on them. And that's your answer, Rio. Hey, here's another fun fact for you. Back in the day, I got my hair cut, uh, trying to look exactly like lead singer Simon Le Bon, uh, hoping it would make me just as handsome. Spoiler alert, didn't work. All right, you guys, we've reached the last one. I'm as bummed out about it as you are. Who is the legendary artist? that recorded this album. That's right, it's David Bowie. Now, while this Bowie cover art is iconic, the album itself only went to number 17 on the American charts. Is it Starman, Lightning Strikes, or Aladdin Sane? 
Let's see what it was. It was, in fact, Aladdin Sane. How'd you do? Tally up your scores and let us know in the comments section below, and Mr. Game Show will contact the person with the highest score about their prize. What's that? I've just been told there is no prize, other than feeling good about yourself and how well you did here today. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for playing. I'm Jimmy Pardo, and we'll see you next time right here on Playbreak.